Sunday, October 13, In the Beginning, the Divine Logos. Read John chapter 1, verses 1 to 5. What do these words reveal about the Word, Jesus Christ? John 1, beginning at verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The Gospel of John begins with this amazing thought. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John 1 verse 1 this one beautiful sentence contains a depth of thought that we can barely grasp. First, the evangelist alludes to the creation story in Genesis 1.1, in the beginning. The word was already there before the beginning of the universe. Thus, John affirms Jesus' eternal existence. Next, and the word was with God. In John 1.18, John indicates that he is in the bosom of the Father, and we'll come to that later in the lesson. No matter how we may try to envision what this exactly means, one thing is sure. John and the Father are intimately close. And then he says, and the Word was God. But how can the Word be with God and at the same time be God? The answer is found in the Greek. Greek has a definite article, the, but no indefinite article, a or an. What's important for us, then, is that the Greek definite article, the, points to particularity, some particular object or person. In the phrase, the word was with God, the term God has the definite article, thus pointing to a particular individual, the Father. And the Word was with the Father. In the phrase, and the Word was God, the term God does not have the article, which in this setting points to the characteristics of divinity. Jesus is God, not the Father, but he is still the divine Son of God, the second person of the Godhead. The Apostle verifies this understanding, for John 1 verses 3 and 4 says that Jesus is the creator of all things created. Anything that once didn't exist, but then came into existence, did so only through Jesus, the creator God. Ellen White writes in The Desire of Ages, page 19, From the days of eternity, the Lord Jesus Christ was one with the Father. He was the image of God, the image of His greatness and majesty, the outshining of His glory. And so to finish the day, why is the full deity of Christ such an important part of our theology? What would we lose if Jesus were, in any other way, a mere created being? Bring your answer to class on Sabbath, and be prepared to discuss why Christ's eternal deity is so important to our faith. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.